Okay, so we have to add these fractions. So there's a method um, that you can use that will always work. So you basically look at the bottom piece here and the bottom piece here. So you need a common denominator. So if you multiply these two, that will always give you a common denominator. So 3 times 4 is equal to 12. That's going to be your common denominator. You can always do that. Okay, You can always just multiply those. All right, so here we have a 4. So what are we missing to get the common denominator? I'm going to go ahead and write the 3 fourths again. And then we're missing a 3, right, because we already have the 4. So what you do is you multiply by 3 over 3. Then you put a plus sign. And then here we're missing the 4 because we've already got the 3. So you multiply by 4 over 4. And then you have the 2 thirds. And then you just multiply straight across. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Good stuff. All right, very good. So now we have the same denominator. We have what's called a common denominator. So now we can add the top parts, which, are, which is called the numerator, by the way. So we can add the numerators. So 9 plus 8 is 17. So you get 17 over 12. And that would be the final answer.